Hi, 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 and welcome to Roulette's Play From Next Door. Now, I found this game wandering around on Ichio, and I have to say it immediately caught my attention because the source inspiration is Junji Ito, which I don't know if any of you guys know this about me. I think I've mentioned it in the past, but maybe in a stream, I don't know, could have been missed. But anyways... Junji Ito is one of my favorite mangaka. He draws these images that just makes your skin crawl and traumatizes you for the rest of your life. It's fantastic. If you've never read anything of Junji Ito's, you should definitely look it up. Matsuda-san, I hope you enjoy your new home. If anything comes up, call me. And don't forget... <laughs> Move with the arrow keys, interact with space, pause with escape, skip through text with control. Yeah, never going to use that. And sprint with shift. Oh, good. I have to shift sprint. I'll be looking forward to that. Kenji Omura. Nami. Well, home sweet home. I'm not looking forward to all the unpacking, though. Love your outfit. It's Amoda-san's instructions. Read it again. Hails of the no. You can see the street from here. It's strangely deserted. Ooh, okay. It's your purse. Go through it. Sure. Credit cards, money. Nothing much. It's your work ID. Nami Matsuda, software design. You're currently on break from work. That's why you decided to use this time to move to your new place. Furukawa Housing, Kenji Omura. Furukawa Housing owns this house that you're renting, and you owe it to Omura-san for getting you such a nice deal. Your phone is not here. Oh, that's right. Ayazawa had it confiscated because she thought it would keep you from getting in touch with anything work and stress related. Her words. It's not like you don't have an actual phone though, or even email. It's your old lighter. Even though you've stopped smoking, you still keep this with you. Your mom would be disappointed if you started smoking again though. Take the lighter? Sure, fuck it, why not? Obtained a lighter. Oh, okay. It's the fridge. You should probably go get groceries eventually. A working sink. You're pretty sure this stove will go pretty much unused. You don't really cook at all. Because you don't cook a lot, you don't have any use for most cooking utensils. You're pretty sure you don't even own a proper cutting knife. It's the phone. Call someone? Let's call mom. Akasan! Hello? Mom, hey, it's me. Oh, hi, honey. I'm so glad you called. Did you finish moving into your new house? Mostly, yeah, there's a lot of unpacking that needs to be done, though. I'd come over to help if I could. But why did you have to move so far away? It's fine, mom. I'll get around to it eventually. I just have to get a couple of things done first. Things? Work things? Yeah? Nami, you're supposed to be on a break from work, remember? I know, I know, but these are just a couple of favors for some guys at the company. It's important, but they won't take long. Don't worry. I worry about you, Nami. Just don't go overworking yourself, okay? Really, Mom, don't worry. All right. Well, how's the house then? You said it was surprisingly cheap. Is something wrong with it? Not that I've seen so far, but I'm keeping an eye out. Still can't believe I got such a nice house for such cheap rent. Wait, it isn't in one of those shady neighborhoods, is it? It's not. Don't worry. Good, good. You and Dad can come stay with me whenever you're in town. There's plenty of room. All right, then. I'm already making travel plans. Travel plans, hmm? <laughs> Okay, well, I should get back to unpacking now, Mom. I'll talk to you later. Take care, Nami. Oh, your father's here. Y yeah, yeah, Nami knows how to save energy. Oh, fine. 
Your dad says he loves you and to not forget to turn the lights off when you leave a room. Um, always. I'll call you guys some other time. Click. Omura-san. Furukaro Housing, Omura speaking. Omura-san, this is Nami Matsuda. Oh, hello Masuda-san. Now, how have you been enjoying your new home so far? So far, it's so good. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Thank you for finding me such a nice deal, Amura-san. You're a lifesaver. No problem. If anything comes up, just give me a call. Okay, thank you. Anyone else to call? Nope. Okay. You don't feel like watching TV right now. A couple of vases. I can't look at the picture beyond the vases. Nope. The door is locked. You have the keys. Unlock it. Mm, I want to check. Whoa. Oh, those are stairs. I thought it was a carpet. Let's check upstairs real quick. A handful of books left here by the previous tenant. Mathematics, volume one through five. A fishing manual. Hmm. You still need to unpack these. The closet is empty. The door is locked. Gosh, every door is locked in this house? Oh, bathroom's not. You don't need to use it right now. You can see your reflection in the mirror. Check the cabinet under the sink? Sure. Bathroom supplies, extra toothbrushes, toothpaste, soap, deodorant spray. Your dad used to set bugs on fire with a deodorant spray and a lighter when you were a child. So much that your mom stopped buying these at home. Wow. That's nice, Dad. You don't feel like bathing. It's a nice little fond memory we have of our father. A painting the previous owner left behind. It's slightly tilted to the side. Can I not tilt? The, this is triggering me so hard. Can, can I just, I just want to straight, can, I, just, I just want to straighten it. Can I straighten it, please? Am I wearing my shoes in the house? Oh no, I think I have my little slippers on. You've already unpacked some of your clothes at least. Just your old camera. You haven't taken any new photos in a while. It's your old computer. It's your old computer. <laughs> Apparently, I subconsciously think I need an upgrade. It's your computer. Read email. Aizawa. Hey, Motsura. I heard you're moving. Why now, all of all times? You know this was supposed to be your stress-free break, right? Can't you go a day without doing something? Honestly, I don't know what to do with you. Don't overdo it, okay? Come back to work with a cool head. Sanjo, so much of that, you're on break, right? You're lucky. Hey, since you've got all this free time, can I ask you a favor? Can you look over this code for me? It's really important. I've sent it to you as an attachment. Thanks a lot. Attachment. I guess I can't look at the attachment. You still need to unpack these. It's your new bed. Because I did the whole price is right thing. All right, uh, let's go unlock the lower floor door first. We've unlocked the door. The closet is full of things the previous tenant left behind. A bunch of things the previous tenant left behind. Bunch of things. Bunches of things. Things in bunches. Previous tenant. Can I, like, relock that door? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just thinking if it was locked, there might be a reason why. The door is locked. Do you have the keys to unlock it? Hmm. It doesn't worry. Is it the wrong key? You check the key. It's tagged as Tatami Room. That's weird. This is supposed to be the right key. You test the other keys just to make sure none of them work, though. Hmm. Did Omoto-san give me the wrong key? Maybe I should call him and ask. Maybe it's locked for a freaking reason. It's the phone call, someone. Furukawa Housing, Omura speaking. Omura-san, this is Nami Matsuda. Oh, Matsuda-san, how can I help you? Uh, Omura-san, I was trying to open a room with one of the keys you gave me, but no key works. Um, do you think you could have given me a wrong key by chance? Wrong key? Uh, I don't think so. I keep each house a set of keys separate. Are you sure the door's not just, you know, stuck? Mm, yeah, it's really locked. Hmm, strange. Maybe the previous tenant changed the lock and didn't say anything. 
Do you think you can contact him? No, it's fine. I'll get someone to go over and open the door for you, although it may have to wait until Monday. Uh, is it urgent? N no, not really. I can wait. <laughs> Thanks, Amorasan. No problem. Call again if you need anything. Click. Dial tone. Uh, you shouldn't bother her right now. I wanted to bother Mom. Alright, well, I guess I'll go get food. Or something. You have no business over- Okay, I have no business over there. The game told me- hmm? It's the house next to yours. Nothing seems particularly out of the ordinary about it. It's the same design as the other houses on the street. Fitting perfectly in, except for the whole lack of fucking windows. There's no windows, huh? However, you can't seem to shake the feeling that it looks out of place somehow. Well, there's no flowers, there's no window. It takes a while for you to realize that it's probably because the house doesn't seem to have any windows. I mean, it takes maybe her a while, but immediately noticed. That's odd. I wonder who lives here. And I have no business over there either. Okay. <gasps> <sighs> Random stranger danger, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, hello there. Hi. You don't have to, to be the new tenant of this house, do you? I am. Oh, wonderful. My name is Hanai Honda. I live next door to you. Oh, hi. I'm Nami Matsuda. It's wonderful to meet you, Masuda-san. Um, that house has been empty for quite a while now. It was about time someone moved in. Do you live by yourself? Uh, yeah, it's uh, just me. <laughs> Isn't it such a big house for just one person? Hey, fuck you! Don't judge me, <laughs> okay? I can have as big a house as I fucking want by myself. I live here with my husband. Good for fucking you. Our son lived with us, but he moved out some time ago. Okay, well, that doesn't mean that you need to judge me on my housing choices, okay? Well, I wasn't exactly looking for a house this big, but, you know, they made a nice offer. Oh, yeah, I heard that the price was going down after no one showed interest in it. Do you, um, know why? I was kind of wondering that myself. Oh, nothing in particular. Okay, ask her about the neighborhood? Hanasan, uh, uh, how long have you lived here? Hmm, how long? Hmm. Quite some time, actually. Well, is the neighborhood, you know, nice? Nice? Oh, yes, quite. It's very peaceful around here. Oh, that's good. Um, hey, Honda san, do you happen to know who lives in that house? The other one next to mine? Uh, that house? I don't think anyone has lived there for a very long time. Oh, I just. Found it strange. It doesn't seem to have any windows. Quite odd, isn't it? It's been that way ever since we moved here, and no one seems to know who owns it either. I see. Well, um, Hanta-san, I have to go. There's still a lot of unpacking that needs to be done. Oh, it's all right. Anything you need, dear, will be right next door. Thank you. We're just gonna awkwardly stare at each other for a while. All right, I'll just... It's getting late, and you still have work to do. It seems you'll have to leave the unpacking for tomorrow. You should get to your room. But I wanted to... All right. Oof. All right, so I've got lighters and house key. Nothing else in my inventory. Ooh. It's already dark. You should turn on the light. I have no idea where the light is. Didn't I didn't remember where the light was. I I don't fucking know where the light is. Huh. Alright. Can I light her? No, I can't light her. This is too fucking dark! I don't know where the light is! <laughs> I should go to my room. I'll, I'm planning on going to my room as soon as I figure out how to turn on the light. Maybe it was on my desk. Can't see anything in the dark. Can't see anything in the dark. Can't see anything in the dark. 
Ah! There we go. Light switch. Whew. You know, when you first move into a place and there's that first night in the dark, nothing quite compares to the trepidation of being alone in a new place you don't really know, you're un you know, I mean, you're just completely unfamiliar with it, trying to find light switches in the dark, house settling noises, ugh. It's just straight up unsettling. Um, how do I work on it? Hmm. End the day? No, we don't really want to end the day. I was hoping to do the attachment thing, but said I had a lot of work to do, but apparently I don't have that much work to do. I just want to go straight to sleep. I gotta wonder why everyone's worried about me stressing out. Like, did something happen? Did something change? Alright, let's end the day, I guess. Gonna wake up in the middle of the night to some weird noises. Okay, guess not. Alright, that's one box down. And a lot more to go. This room's still locked. You wonder if what Omoto-san was true, if the previous tenant had changed the lock without saying anything. You also wondered if he left the key here somewhere. He did leave a lot of stuff behind. The closet is halfway filled with your things. You still need to unpack these. Arnie unpack some clothes. Let's see if it got new email. A little thing from Chiba. Can you help me out with this thing here? I'd appreciate it. I don't actually know how to help you with any of these things. Let's call mom. Oh, never mind. Let's not call mom. Okay, never mind. Let's not let's not call anyone. And I don't feel like watching TV. I kind of like how, like, our living room is combined with the television because then you'll never miss your favorite shows when you go to get snacks. Because, like, you know, if a good movie comes on and you just have to have popcorn, you can go make popcorn and not have to worry about it. Just saying. Alright, well, let's start digging through all his shit. You didn't find any key. <laughs> Doesn't tell you what you did find, but you didn't find any keys. Hmm. It's literally going to be in the last place I look. Well, I mean, technically, I've always thought that was kind of a silly statement. It's always in the last place you check. Well, yeah, it's always in the last place you check. Who finds something and then continues looking for it? You know, maybe these aren't my keys. <laughs> I should keep looking, just in case. There are a pile of books inside the closet. Looking closely, you notice one of them is the slightest bit elevated. You lift the books one by one until you finally come across a metal key tucked away between two of those books. Obtained metal key. Let's hope it's the right key. Otherwise, I'll have to wait until Monday. Hmm? It's getting dark already. How long was I in there? What? Okay. But I didn't do anything. Uh, my my day, like... But I did, like, nothing with my day. And I am probably starving to death because I didn't buy any groceries. I didn't get anything that resembles food. I haven't eaten all day. I'm going to starve to death. That's going to be the way I go out. Move out of mom's house. Starve to death. Go ahead and turn on the light, just to be on the safe side. Unless I am- yeah, I habitually turn off the lights when I leave the room, I guess. Well, I guess we'll open up the door to hell. The door is locked. Use the metal key. You've unlocked the door. It worked! Oh god, it's dark as balls! How the fuck do I get to the light switch? It's so fucking dark. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. It's a simple vase. 
There's a bunch of junk inside the closet. Maybe you can sort it out tomorrow. What a nice space. You can do so much with it. There's a window here, but it's all boarded out. I wonder why it's like this. You tug on the boards, but they are firmly, albeit messily, pinned to the wall. You take a peek through the wooden boards. You can see the house next door from here, much like one of the windows in your bedroom. The difference, though, is this one sits directly in front of another window. Huh. So that house has a window after all. You try taking a look inside the other house, but it's pitch black inside. Maybe Hanasan was right, and no one lives there after all. Well, I found the key to this room, but now I have to get rid of these boards. Hmm, I should get a nail puller or something. Although, I don't think I own one. I guess I'll see you to it tomorrow. It's getting late. Whoa. Okay, another e uneventful sleep. Maybe I can find a way to pry those boards out today. Hmm, should I just call Amorasan tomorrow? He can find an actual professional for that. You've already unpacked some of your clothes. Alright, let's, uh... Well... Never mind. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me that thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue. I know this is kind of my own little pet project. But I really love Jin Jinji Ito. Um, if you are looking for something to read for Jinji Ito, I suggest... Either Uzumaki or Tomie. They are both really, really good. And the flesh-colored horror and things like that, the, the whole series that they that he has is also very good. In fact, I can't really think of anything I've seen from Junji Ito that I didn't like. But I have to say that the stars of it are either Uzumaki, Tomie, or Gyo. Um, but Gyo is not for everyone. It takes a little bit of suspension of disbelief. So, alright. Bye, bye, bye! Oh god, that was... Oh god, that was a mistake. Oh, such a mistake!